We are back with more World Cup. We got Brofus vs Cicada. And yeah, we got BTB in the call. Dennis and Padlop too. And I think this is One the NJ MP team that Cicada brought with uh, Calm yeah, Mind, Pain Split, Iron Defense, Dazzling, the Magina. Yeah, is the one aim used in the live as well, yeah. I think That's it's double Choice Scarf, so it's Choice Scarf Magnezone, Choice Scarf Kelio. Yeah, that's it. I don't mm -hmm. remember the Ladi set. I think it's Specs, right? Yeah, it's Specs, Ladi, Duo Scarf. Mm, and yeah, you know, Brovis has his shinies, they're looking kind of ugly, but I can respect I that. I think it's Z-Move Duck Trio, if I remember correctly. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. No, or maybe he's yeah. It's I mean, Pharaoh, shiny Pharaoh looks yeah. ugly. The other two shinies yeah. look fine. I think I think he could have changed some sets. He could have probably made it into like Specs Magnuson or something. So I can I see Brof is just clicking Ruse turn one to eat up the Draco. Yeah, that's um, uh, trick trick would be trick would be here. bad for him though. I see him switching in Azard, predicting him to trick. Well, oh, Pat, my, be I understand that play. play, but it's a bit wild. I can also see Tapu yeah. Coco coming out. Especially uh, turn I can see him go to Ferrothorn here. No, no, just because Brofist is a wild fucking guy. I mean, Ferrothorn doesn't cover the trick play. Coco top covers trick and Draco, I think, if he's Z move Coco. I don't know about wild. Brofist always I, I seems like a systematic trick, player. Though. He makes the he good play, I think. Yeah, exactly. He's a systematic Coco, player. Coco, Coco needs to be unchoiced. I mean, if Coco is Z move, that covers Draco and trick, so. I don't think he would ever if psychic here. Zekeda's not psychicking here, right? Or Psyshock or whatever he has. I think he has Psychic on spec. Yeah, he, he's for sure not. He's so yeah, Jamvit sure. is playing soon. He better not start before this game ends. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jamvit versus Flame Victini is hyped. So he has this Brofist from Team East, US East. He's 1 and 0 so far. And Cicada for Team France. I think he's 1 and 1. I don't know exactly. Yeah, yeah, I think he's 1 and 1. He lost with Alcans and he won versus. No, I think he's 0 and 2. I think he got hexed in his first game. I don't remember 100%, yeah. but I think he got hexed. Sh first Shake, game. Shake has the same opinion as Doc. Can Brofis please win before Jam <laughs> starts? Yeah, see, Tabo Coco, I told you that plays fire because you either trick or he Dracos. Goat. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. If he has HPIs. Cicada has, has like no switches besides Magnus Zone. Yeah, yeah, I click U turn here, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, you notice know Ladi's locked in anyway. Like the free U freest U turn ever. If if he has U turn. Mhm. Mm like most Cocos run it. Um, it, it's to help versus Duck Tree, like mainly. Unless the Duck is Scarf, you can always U turn out of Duckies. Yeah, I think and I don't mm, think the stuck is Scarf because he always has Scarf Zone I mean, Scarf Brofist, killed. Brofist team is pretty like easy I guess to break down. I think you should be like Scarf Keldio, Spikes, Ferro for Rocks Lando. I don't, I don't know if he has Spikes plus Rocks because he kind of has to yeah, maybe. He has to default kind of often for his Zard so he might not have both hazards. His mm -hmm. Landers might just be like double dance or something. He could, but like, like he can definitely be, be Rocks and Spikes but... It could be, and just offensive land, right? Like, I can see the landers being like sub SD or like double dent, mm -hmm. and then the pharaoh having the rocks. I won't say Brofist knows Cicada's team, like, he knows it. An yeah, but, but Cicada might have uh, changed up some sets. That's <laughs> also true, yeah. But yeah, he's probably going to his own landers, which means if he has SD. He might smash that SD button to sky strike the land out into the next dimension. The thing is, if he has sky strike, he can also pivot into Magnezone on the sky strike. But we will see what happens. We gotta wait. We gotta wait what happens this turn before we like spec Isn't speculate too much. Hmm? Yeah, he can go for rocks if he has them. But I was thinking this might not be rocks land. It might be rocks Pharaoh. It might be like SD land with um, sub or double dance. Oh, it's toxic. Okay, so it might be toxic protect. Hmm. I think okay. this is. I think this landless that Cicada has is also toxic protect rocks and earthquake. I don't think he has HPIs on this. I don't remember. <clears throat> Both his team looks a bit annoyed by toxic packs. Like it doesn't lose to it, but it looks annoyed. If, the, if the, maybe the new has psychic. 
Uh, doesn't this Alandra's also have toxic? Yeah, yeah, it has. So getting off the toxic and immune is definitely nice for Cicada. Like, I think he wants to defog like pretty badly for his Zard, obviously. Or is he gonna click Ice Beam here? Um, if he if he's Knowing fast, that if he's fast if, Mew. If, if, if he knows the team, I think he's gonna click Ice Beam. <laughs> if he's here. fast Mew, he might click Ice Beam. Um, Wait, whose phone is that? Probably BTB's. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, your two uploads right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice notification. Oh yeah, the blunder with you just uh, went up, and I, I didn't finish naming it yet. I already put in blunders. I forgot to put in the teal versus whoever was the second game. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Jamvid is gonna play after this. Like, I mean, yeah, if he has like, if they have a heart for my uh, for the young YouTube recording, they will wait. <laughs> Or well, just in general, people don't want to watch two games at once, right? Yeah, he just just I can understand why Cicada switched just in case it was Ice Beam U, and you never know if he went for it. That was a bit too risky. Like he definitely had to get rid of the rocks for his Zard. So this Megina is the calm mind one. I can see him. Yeah, he's definitely going hard Cherry Zard here. Hard Zard. I mean, not definitely, but I. Uh, hard Zard or hard Pharaoh? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like he can also go for Will O Wisp, but I don't like I don't I mean see... if he if he didn't if he didn't change anything, yeah, hard is the play. Yeah, I think like he I think like most plays that he has made so far, like it's like ex I don't want to say exactly the play that I would have made, but like isn't about that, that. Isn't that Zard X though? Not like, Zard Y. Wait how? I don't know, for some reason I think I've seen this team. Actually, yeah, Rock needs to get like, uh, and then B just said, "What is Cicada doing? Ground. Like, something is getting blown away here. Like, e like even if it's that Y, Ladi takes like a lot from that. Like, I don't know if it's that Y or X, but I'm thinking it's Y. Yeah. And did you see ICT in the chat? Covered. So yeah. When is ICT versus Adam? Oh, ICT versus Adam is tomorrow. Okay. Hard into Kel, you see it's that way. It's gonna do like 40? Mm -hmm. oh, oh 50. My God, 50. It's modest for sure. I think. Yeah, I mean, modest. I said for sure, and then I said I think it has to be modest. <laughs> so Keldio can't even kill this, and it's forced to go for Edge. So this is the freest, um, the freest Mew I've ever seen. Oh, he can also go Ferrozon. He's never clicking Secret Sword here anyway. So I guess Ferrozon is fine too. Maybe Cicada would double into... Cicada might double into Magnezone on predicting the Pharaoh? Ooh. But yeah, Brofus is like too smart, he's not gonna let the let the Pharaoh get trapped. He goes on the top of Coco, which... Resists... Imagine if he double, let if me, he double flame from... Let me explain you, let me explain you. So, resist Secret Swords can take Skull because the Sun is up and Stone Age also doesn't do that much. So Brofus, you know he covers all options. And it also covers him doubling into dude, something dude, that would catch the Pharaoh. Man. Real man, real man goes for U-turn into Keldeo. <laughs> okay. Um, dude, dude, dude. T-Bolt gets up good damage. HP fire does a good shot. Oh chunk. my god, my play would have so worked. Is that Spex damage by any chance, or is that still Scarf? The Magnezone? I think... I think it's Scarf Magnezone. Scarf, that ain't Scarf. The Magnezone is Scarf, what do you mean? <laughs> Magnezone is Scarf. Oh, it's, wait, wait, wait. it's just. Did, it did, it's, I, did I sleep? Did I sleep? On no, something? we know this team because AIM used it in Road to Top Ten. It's an NJMP team. Yeah, it's an NJMP team that AIM used in, in our video. Yeah, and this yeah, is a team yeah, which I, Black I'm Oblivion not, not used that against you. Unless he changed, like Doc said, unless he changed his sunsets, he should so, be double Scarf. He can just U down here. Scarf. If he has Roost, he can also click Roost because. Yeah, because Scarf Mechanism is so slow that it does not speed Coco, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, it does it not speed anything. Speed. It's so yeah, fucking. Yeah, it doesn't even outspeed Weevil Tornado. So it was fun that way. Comes yeah, in again. You don't outspeed Grand as well, which is huge. Yeah. So he's gonna go Lari here, and that's why you you pull a Gemvet and run Scarf Magneton, I guess. <laughs> Did you say Magnezone? You meant Magneton, right? No, no, Magneton. I I said that's maybe maybe I Scarf just understand. Maybe I just understand it wrong. I know that you meant Magneton, but it, it just sounded like Magnezone. I mean, he either, he either lets the Lari take a huge hit or he sex something. Yeah, I would go Lari also. Does yeah. he go HP Ice? 
Okay, he just goes. That is fine, boy. So. Oh my God, he did forty-five. It's definitely. You think he's gonna oh double God. into mana zone here? Ooh. Uh, I probably would try that. To does flamethrower in the sun do more than HP ice? Uh, it might actually. It might do a bit more around the same. Let me count. Uh, it's tap plus sun. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure flamethrower does. More. I wouldn't Wait, Laddie took that surprisingly well. I mean, it's still it 45. Soldu. Like, no, Soldu doesn't Soldu, beat. Yeah, Soldu, Soldu got nerfed. Now only boosts Dragon and Psychic moves. It's but not. It only boosts by 1.2. There's the attacking exactly. moves. It doesn't boost per death anymore. Otherwise, it does boost per death, right? No, it doesn't. Not anymore. It got nerfed. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It used to boost by 1.5, and it was like a choice. Like it was like you had a free calm mind. That's why it was banned. Like, yeah. you had a free common and you could switch up moves when you had it. Goes in the Pharaoh zone. Did he double? Oh, he didn't no. double. HP ice, BTB HP ice actually does more. It does 51 I'm to 60. I'm pretty sure that he's Pharaoh gonna... Does. This is the freest Mew. This is the freest Mew for Brovist. HP ice does more, even in yeah. Sun. Because Mew doesn't care about mana zone, it doesn't care about Psychic. And, like, Cicada doesn't even have that perfect double switch to beat the Mew, because Mew annoys everything. And if, yeah, he goes into, if he goes into Magina, which would technically maybe beat the Mew one-on-one, -on -one, he just gets a free switch into Zard Y, so like, Cicada has to double... Um, like... It has it's, to... it's AD mag though, right? So no, 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 it's Calm Mind, Pain Split, um... Dazzling oh, wait, Gleam... Yeah, Pain Split, that's interesting. Uh, it's Iron Defense... Yeah. Iron Defense, Calm Mind, Pain what Split, Dazzling Gleam, if it's the same it's team. Move, what is its last move? Calm Mind, Iron Defense, Pain Split, Dazzling Gleam. Mm -hmm, it's Mono Dazzling Gleam. If it oh my didn't God. change anything, help me. Um, if help. I can see him going for toxic here, predicting the Mew. Okay, so I think Valoi versus Outrage might be right after this. Oh wow! Wait, you what don't? About you can't just do this to me. I want to see Gem there. Did so he toxic? Did he toxic? It's, it's Dude, toxic I told you to toxic. Party. Listen to me. Yeah, if Gemve doesn't play after this, I'm gonna like probably be. Like the Mew was coming out there. Why did he not toxic? Like, I understand that you need the rocks up. I guess you can Toxic now. <laughs> Why are you shooting at him? Because <laughs> that was the most obvious Mew I've ever seen, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I just You can still Toxic next turn. I don't know, I'm mad at Rich for some reason. I mean, you're, you're kind of like mad for a reason. It takes more damage because of that. He takes like one extra turn. Yeah, he's also lead sheeted, which doesn't really help. Like, then he takes extra lead sheet and poison. Yeah. Okay, so he either doubles into Magna Zone or Trick. No, wait. No, no, no. Doesn't Brofus just? Yeah, he might. He might trick here. Mm-hmm. Since the Tapu Koko already took some damage, I'm not sure if Brovis would go into Tapu Koko. I mean, Tukoko obviously still covers the trick. Because even if it's not Z-move, I assume it's Z-move, but even if it's not, it doesn't really care about getting it Scarf tricked. Hmm. I mean, no matter what, Brovis is still in a pretty fine position here. No, I was also a bit mad because BTB said there's another game and I want to see Jammet play, not <laughs> not other games. JK, I mean, I obviously, like, I'm fine with Brovis playing, but, like, if there's, like, five more other games before the Jammet game or, like, during the Jammet game, that would be annoying. Because, you know, I want to record be, a yeah, lot of games. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. It can, it can be a Ooh, he, he caught the Ferrophone. Yeah, he does nice catch double. him. Like, his play was either... Is, but, is it, actually... And if yeah, this is scarf. like, he doesn't, he doesn't do enough with HP five. Yeah, and if this is leech and protect, it beats it when we die. Um, exactly. if it's if it has speed death, it beats it. But if it's fist death, uh, yeah, it should have speed death because it's like a secondary. Mm. Yeah, see, I think the Pharaoh still beats it. Okay. He just wanted those rocks up. I don't think leech made a big difference. Like it would still. Ha yeah, probably. It would still die to the next right. Maybe and maybe it wouldn't have died. Yeah, he, no, he doesn't have protect. So uh, leech. Now it was Dying. So Lari That's dies because rocks are up, Kelly dies, everything. So he has to sack something basically. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think he's probably deal. just going to sack the Magnuson because Magnuson's job is done for the game. Exactly, that's true. Yeah. And then he can go Zar and um, Ladios, I guess. Yeah, Magnuson doesn't beat anything can, other than maybe so the Coco. Yeah, Magnuson is actually useless. Like, fair Yeah, the only thing it could do is like get a hit off if the Coco is in. And sex the Dougie. Understandable. Yeah, Dougie's a fine sack as well. So he's gonna go Laddie or Keld. Um, I would go Laddie here, but the problem with that is if you click if you click trick predicting the Mew, that's a good play if you catch the Mew. But then Zard kinda gets a free switch in again afterwards. Like if you if you ever attack and drop your special attack or something like that. <clears throat> and if you go Keldia, you will kinda if you go Keldio, he just goes into Mew, I assume. So he's gonna go to the Magnezon, okay, interesting. I think Brofist goes into Mew or into... If he's confident that he goes for electric move, he's gonna go Landorus, but I think he goes Mew here. Okay, I missed a turn, but why was Duck Trio the sack? Because it doesn't really do anything. No, th yeah. no, that's still a fine sack, because... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Buggy doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, that, that's also but, true. Or, Actually, because it's ground Z and Mew is so annoying to his team. He doubled into Landers. He, what? Predicting he used the Dougie to trap the Mew, to be honest. Did Especially if the Dougie was toxic. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could have toxic the Mew like a few turns ago. Yeah, I, I think... Yeah, I agree with that, but I think Magneton was more useful. I mean, Magneton is Scarf, so it can still help versus no, Zard Y. No, no, no. Uh, simple reason why. Simple reason why Magneton wasn't as useless as... Dougie, and that's because you can still pressure the Zard. Oh yeah, I guess because he's. Oh, Black Oblivion is playing too in a few minutes. Oh, he's sub, ooh, sub lefties, sub toxic. Our, our sub toxic. Wow. Sub toxic. Uh, that's a pretty interesting set. Uh, I assume it's Earthquake, and I don't know the last move. I don't think it's gonna be the Flaming Teeny special that cannot touch Heatran, so I. Like, I think Earthquake is for sure on there. Sub toxic. <laughs> if that's the Flaming Victini special, I'm fucking out of here. No way. But, but sub toxic isn't that bad. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Sounds like a. Sounds like a Gliscor copy. A Gliscor <laughs> wanna, wannabe Gliscor. Yeah, too bad he doesn't have toxic mode. I mean, like, yeah, but it's faster at the same time. So he just off it there because the opposing manners was... Um, oh my god. It was poison, it was on a timer, the goad. Yeah. It probably could not touch the opposing Landris. Yeah, yeah, the, the NJNP Landris is... um. Earthquake, Toxic, Stealth Rock... What was the last move? Was it U-Turn? I don't think it had HP Ice because I remember Amy using this team. Okay, okay, so it was U-Turn? Probably you did in the last move, not 100% sure. Speech, yeah. He locks yeah. in the psychic, so I can see Brofus always knock off. That's cool. So oh toxic that, you knock off? Dude, that's so yeah. cool. You knock off the chance, you see Violet, and then Zadwai goes mm -hmm. in on stall. Brofus is the fucking goat. I mean, I this is the free. This is a free Mew, it. right? Um, I, I think Keldio is fine. I mean, free Mew or Keldio? I think Mew is fine. Oh. Actually, wait, do you, do you need, no, no, you need Coco, you need... Like, if you go Mew, uh, you get off the default for your ZY. Wait, how, at how much is, uh, Mew at? Mew's at, uh, Mew. full. He's a, he's a oh, full, yeah. Alright, yeah, it's free then, it's free. And then a free Wisp as well. <laughs> oh man, why am I so tired? Yeah, I'm kind of tired too, actually. <laughs> That's why I'm not talking. These guys are already tired and I have to stay up till 4 am to record Eric's game, <laughs> so you already know it's gonna be fun times. Eric's game is in 5 hours. Nice to Wait, is so Eric for playing for War Cup? For, 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 for Canada. Canada. Yeah, he's playing for Canada, he's debuting in War Cup. Oh my fucking god, Eric. Eric the GOAT. Yeah, I guess Kelly was fine. Tell me, like, when I sleep, tell me if you won or not, like, when I when I wake up, alright? Uh, I'm gonna be asleep mm -hmm. if you wake up, because I will go out to sleep after the game, and the game is at 4am. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh. but please, but please, dog, 
upload it as soon as possible, please. <laughs> I mean, I might, you, I might not can, sleep. I might not sleep much, and it might already be up in the morning if my net doesn't. Uh... Doc, listen. Dude, listen. calm down. Can I like? <laughs> can I like uh, commentate the game? When you, when you finish, when you finish recording, can you kick the heart lap? Hit the upload button. Okay, so the thing is, I have other videos to upload, so I'm, I will see what happens with that video. So it's surf killed for power over scald. Yeah, this game is yeah. over. Not sure what surf is for specific. I know when Feromosa was out, I think it was. Yeah, a surf to two hit kills, yeah. Lele. Lele, yeah. That's true. Two hit kills Lele after rocks or from full? <sighs> after rocks, after I wanna rocks, say, yeah. yeah. Matt can't win right, yeah, Matt can't Yeah, he's win. gonna comment up, but, like, it doesn't help. It doesn't... He has two plays, like, Brofist has two plays, either going Zard here... I think he goes Zard. I think he goes here. Zard. Cause Zard I don't is... know. Yeah... Zard is at 86. Zard seems yeah, it's mono doesn't him anyway. Yeah, d doesn't like, Zard even... wall this measure enough? Yeah, yes, it, it does. Walls. Even if he doubles into Keldy on the Zard, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, because he has to lock. Like, then he can sex oh, something. He, uh, he probably has Wait. taunt on this. Oh my god. Maybe he has taunt Please. and he would have prevented the setup from the mid Wait, didn't... it's Scarf Keldy on never mind. Oh yeah, true, 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 true. <laughs> I mean, Kel, you can click sc yeah. Scald, but... If Kel, you click Scald, you get the defog off, and then Zard wins. Hmm. So, Brovis is gonna be 2-0, and... Oh and I'm not 100% sure, but I think Cicada has own 3 if he loses, but I will check it real mm. quick. Uh, Team France. Where's Team France at number 2 at the moment? They are 15 and 9. Yeah, Cicada has own 2, yeah. So own 3. What's the play here? I mean, it doesn't matter for you, Cicada. He lost. Like, he can sack yeah. the Coco and then you get the defog off. Mm -hmm. And then Zard wins, like I said, yeah. Exactly. I met, he has probably a few ways of winning this game. Maybe there's a better play. But I think mine works out too. But he's thinking about it really long. 20 seconds timer. Whew. Oh boy, don't do this. Holy shit. Time was at 10 seconds. Oh nice God, heart dude. attack. <laughs> yeah, he's defogging here, I assume. Yep. <laughs> Look at Blunder. Oh, Jama sent the shooters. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, cause Cicada is Team France, okay. Yeah, Ojama is uh, France. Brofist Captain is... Captain manager, East. however you call oh, it. Oh, it's West. Never mind, never mind. What is West? Blas Blasphemy. I I thought for a second Brofist was US East, but it is West. No, he is a US East. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm stupid then. I was right. Yeah. <sighs> I see you're playing sorry, in 35, man. okay, okay, you better don't play at the same time that Gemma plays or have... Who plays at midnight, man? I see it's... Okay. I mean, it also depends on the opponent who he schedules. I know, with. I know, but like, even still, I would never play a World Cup match at, match at midnight. But, but that's, Dude, that's they, just me. They, they call me an EST dog rich, like, I would like... Uh, like, when <laughs> people go to sleep, I get, like, I wake... No, I don't wake up, but like, I like... I'm like super awake as fuck. Yeah. I don't really care if it's like late. <laughs> Sometimes at least, or like most of the time. Hartman Jun on a defog, so you know he goes into Zard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it smashes great. that flamethrower button. I guess he can double into Keld. Yeah, he has, it kinda has to double into uh, Double into Keld, you doesn't do anything because then he just goes back into Mew. And yeah, if, he gets the, if he gets the burn, he just burns himself if he has Scald. He, he can't even but hope for dodges because Zard is flamethrower. Yeah, and I think he doesn't have. Scald maybe in Keld even, but it doesn't matter if he has it or not. Because I think if he has Surf, he might be Hydro Pump and Surf. But yeah, he does make the double, which was necessary. Real man, real man goes Lander is here to. I mean, Mew is fine, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, both. Was he fine. crit. 
I mean, Mew was overall the best thing because I don't think he like went goal Andrews on the like, potential. What am I saying? Both was fine. Both plays were fine. I mean, both plays were fine, but Mew was mm -hmm. probably better. Ammo. Yeah. yeah. So like, Brofus doesn't have to make unnecessary plays, but if he wants to make a risky play, he can double into Zard. He he's he's not gonna make that play, and I can see Zikada staying in and Stone Aging doubling on the double yeah. into. Z Never mind. Oh, he double into okay. <laughs> hey, Lando, mate. Then it's start for a second. He double into Zard. I know that Brofus. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> He's I never gonna risk his Zara, dude. Like, yeah, he's, he's I was too going good to, to. He's too good to risk that. I was going to hype it up for making a wild play. Wild play. No, no, <laughs> I no, mean, no, 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 no. Like you would, you you would, you would have to hype him up for a bad play if he goes back to Zara. Wild, Zarda. yeah, exactly. That was unnecessary risky. So yeah, Flames are gonna kill like two or three McGeonas, Bob. Bob. Yeah, going and hard Zard was probably a play I, I would have done and I would have lost. <laughs> So now he can stay in, or he can go to Mew hard, but I think he can just stay in, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, GG. So if he gets the burn, he will burn himself. Man, yeah, Brofist is untouchable in this So game. if he has Psychic, he can just click that to finish the game. And he just decides to be nice and give him his Mew and yeah. say, Take that, we will Don't. just 3 or you, we will not take your soul today. And take the 3 -0, okay. We will click um, Flamethrower Flame okay. Flame okay. to stunt on this boy. <laughs> Disrespect, okay. Okay, I'll um, we will be le uh, back with a Jammeth game. I might upload this after Jammeth's game, not sure yet. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And Dennis and Patlop Smogon and maybe BTB's 2v1. Their Smogon will be down below Bob. And we're signing out. Yeah, and Darkwish saying goodbye.